today we are back with another reaction, man. We gonna see what we finna experience together today. Feel me? So today, 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 I got an amazing video for y'all, bro. I got an amazing video for y'all. And y'all niggas better not forget to like, comment, and subscribe, bro. Because niggas is getting real deep and getting into all the goods with these videos. I'm finna go crazy uploading. Nigga, you can send me anything. And I'm gonna give you the actual, real, esoteric knowledge. Y'all niggas probably don't even know what that means. I could put you guys on, but you guys need to subscribe. Anyways, bro. We got this nice video talking about... Are Jay-Z, Beyonce, Rihanna members of the Illuminati? Now, bro, we finna, we finna take this slow because I know most people think this shit is a conspiracy. And I'm dead serious, bro. If you actually think this is a conspiracy, bro, you're, you're probably one of the most dumbest human beings on this earth, bro. And I'm not making this video to make you believe. Because if you know, you know. If you don't know, then you're just out of the loop, bro. There's so much information out there. Like, y'all niggas gotta really question this shit, bro. Why do all the motherfuckers go like this? Why do all the motherfuckers stick out their tongue? Why do all the motherfuckers do all that weird-ass demonic shit? Because they know what the fuck they up to. Like, niggas think this shit a game. For real, bro. Like, y'all niggas, bro. And people be asking me, like, oh, why would the Illuminati be giving out hoods? Why would they be doing that shit? Because it's cosmic universal law. But y'all niggas don't know that because you guys aren't tapped in. Or because, bro, that's just something else. We talking about, like, third dimensional knowledge here, bro. That esoteric shit, bro. Universal law shit, bro. That's another class. And most of y'all niggas not gonna understand that. But it's all good because I'm here to make, not make y'all. Help y'all understand that. Help y'all remember that shit. So, we about to get into this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. We really running it up. We going to touch a thousand this month. I'm grinding, grinding, grinding. Let's get it, man. Shit, let's get this shit, man. And all my reactions are live, but I do not fake none of them. Does the Illuminati run Hollywood? Maybe. On this episode... Bro, the thing is, bro, the Illuminati runs everything. Governments, Hollywood, any major, it runs the NBA, bro. I got a video of that nigga Jalen Rose moving like a motherfucking robot. I'm going to get that video in for y'all niggas. Y'all niggas think I'm motherfucking playing, bro. And, yeah, bro, like, you just got to listen to the stories and accounts that these people be telling y'all about. I know the video already started, but, like, this shit is real as fuck. And in the coming year, bro, y'all niggas really gonna see what's popping. But, hey, I'm sorry for too much. Let's get the pushing. Episode, we will dive into the rumors that various celebrities are a part of a secret society that controls Hollywood. Hmm. Beyonce and Jay-Z? Check. Rihanna? All of them. Perhaps. Bro, even th there's literally a video of Rihanna saying she's a devil worshiper. <sighs> like, bro, I'm gonna really get on Rihanna's fucking ass. I'm going to get on Jay-Z's ass, especially Beyonce, because those niggas is doing way too much, bro. They sacrificing kids, bro. They doing so much fucked up shit, bro, that if we all knew about it and we weren't all distracted, nigga, bro, we would be, yo, uh, this, this shit would have been felt. But anyways, let's keep it pushing. I'm going to shut the fuck up. Let the video play. No, I don't know who any of these people are. Do you know who these people are, Stacy? Yes. That's because Stacy is smarter than me. <laughs> and since we're on the subject, I'd also like to officially announce that Stacy and I are boyfriend and girlfriend. What? The there was fuck? some confusion before. Apparently, you need to ask someone to be your girlfriend in private before announcing it on a public access web series show. Yep, it's true. I'm Dagula San Vicente Jr. And I'm Stacy. That's a nice and this is crap. Hollywood Parallel Universe. Illuminati edition. Niggas now are, bro, niggas are saying this is a, pre nigga, this is happening in this fucking reality, talking about parallel universe. Boy. Before we dive into the details, let's first take a look at what the Illuminati is. The Illuminati is a designation applied to various groups claiming to be enlightened. The organization is mm. believed to be severely guarded and extremely powerful. 
Many believe that it actually controls the entire it's modern. It's not a belief, though. It's not a belief. It's a literal fact. And the, the thing is, bro, that's bro. That's just the name we know them by, bro. They probably have a completely different name, bro. Because there's so much such shit that the government has done, bro. Y'all niggas is... It's, it's, it's actually ridiculous, bro. It, it gets so deep, like, y'all niggas, man. Mm-mm. Y'all, bro, f- I'm, I, that's why I'm asking y'all. Y'all ask me these questions so I can answer them, because there's too much shit I know about all this shit. World, primarily by infiltrating the media and subsequently brainwashing the population. Literally, what do they call television? Television. What do you, what do you watch on TV? Programs. What what do they call the what do they what do, what is the thing you use? A remote control. You're using a remote control to turn on a television to watch a program. Word spell casting. That's why y'all niggas need to watch the words y'all say, but dude, I don't want to go crazy cuz <laughs> it's too much knowledge I got. But I got ya. Just send me the videos and ask me the motherfucking questions, man. Furthermore, the Illuminati isn't limited to a certain time, place, or era. Illuminati enthusiasts believe it's going on all the time, everywhere. It's not a belief, forever. though. It's actual fact. Its insignia, Eye of Providence, can be found everywhere, from Masonic buildings to the U.S. $1 bill. This ubiquitous image dates back to as early as 1525 in Pontormo's painting, Supper at Emmaus. Early uses of the Eye of Providence imply that it was invented as a symbol of God's watching over humanity. The same symbol can be seen on other artworks in subsequent centuries. Mm. Or maybe instead of God, it's something or mm. someone. Oh yeah, that- and one thing that these niggas really do is they like have a lot of symbolism. Like a lot of this shit is symbolism. Like a lot of symbolism. A lot of symbolism. For there was actually an Illuminati group that existed in the 18th century. Founded by Adam Weishaupt, this incarnation was a Republican movement of free thought, possibly featuring prominent members like Johann Goethe. It is said to have fizzled out around 1777, but conspiracy theories about the Illuminati came to the surface almost immediately after they were disbanded. And thus, the legend lived on. In 1797, Abbe Augustin Barowell suggested that the Illuminati, as well as other secret societies, were responsible for the French Revolution. And even George Washington himself wrote a letter in 1798 in which he addressed the threat of the Illuminati. Today, hmm. the conspiracy still persists, largely in part due man. to its resurgence in 70s counterculture. It is grouped with Satanism and myths about aliens. Which is why... The now, now, when they talk about, like, aliens and shit, bro, like, that's when it really gets, like, deep, bro, like, that's, dude, I could do a really in-depth video breaking the fuck down what's actually going on in this planet, man, but, cool, we gonna be here for at least, like, 20 minutes. <laughs> it's also credited for running Hollywood behind the scenes, so... Robert, the board just approved the plan to build your sales team. That's fantastic. Them and they can work from anywhere. Man. Wherever. Do you think that's true, Stacy? No. No, I don't. The mention of the Illuminati in various pop culture and media outlets fuels the rumor that the organization still... Why do you think everybody goes like this? Everybody's like this. It's all symbolism. And animism that's meant to go into your subconscious. You're s- like, it's, it gets so deep in the way these niggas know how to finesse. And I don't know if some of you guys, some of y'all, so I know some of y'all niggas are smart, have an understanding of what a subcon, like, what subconscious, like, what a subconscious is, and how literally most of your actions throughout the day are dictated off of your subconscious, not even your conscious mind. That's why they aim for that. That's why there's a whole reason of television. That's why if you're scrolling hours and hours on the phone and you're not doing what you're supposed to do with your day, nigga, you're not. <laughs> my nigga, you're not going to make it. It's simple. Like, dog, bro, the world is changing, bro. The world is changing, man. 
persists, from books to movies and most predominantly, rap songs. An mm. early song to reference the Illuminati was the 1995 remix of LL Cool J's I Shot Ya. In it, Prodigy raps, Illuminati want my mind, soul, and my body. Secret society trying to keep the eye. And the thing is, bro, like, I know a lot of fucking rappers. They lie about what they rap on. But most of these niggas, bro, that are in the stew, bro, they're rapping about actual shit. I understand there's obviously some rappers that say, oh, yeah, I'm part of Illuminati. Illuminati, you want my mind, body, soul, shit, da, 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 da. Bro, this shit is real, bro. And I got some good videos coming up to really talk about this shit, no cap. In 2008, Herb Magazine published a letter that Prodigy wrote from jail where he claimed Jay-Z promotes the lifestyle of the beast. He claimed that not just hip-hop, but the music industry in general is Wait, a convenience. Wait, who said that? He wrote from jail. In 2008, Herb Magazine published a letter that Prodigy wrote from jail where mm. he claimed Jay-Z promotes the life jay-z is a motherfucking devil bro you can go through his lyrics bro that nigga bro that nigga is the devil i don't know why i was looking over there bro you know a nigga yo i'm getting used to keeping my eyes on the table but yeah bro that nigga's legit the devil niggas think i'm playing bro <laughs> lifestyle of the beast he claimed that not just hip-hop but the music industry in general is a convenient avenue for the illuminati they're fucking with people's senses. Mm -hmm. They're sexual energies, mental energies. They know how to manipulate the chakras in your body and set them shits off. Turn them on and turn them off. If you study that type of stuff, metaphysics and all that stuff, you'll see. Whoa, no way this nigga said that shit. There's no fucking way this nigga said. Bro, I'm trying to tell y'all niggas, bro. This shit is so much motherfucking deeper. This nigga, bro, this nigga prodigy knows there's a reason why they call this nigga prodigy, nigga. Bro, this nigga legit said they set off your sexual energies, mental energies. That's the thing. Oh, my goodness, bro. Dog, I'm telling y'all niggas just send me the motherfucking videos. Because, bro, I don't want to have y'all here for a minute because... Sexual energies, that's why there's always ass in the videos. They trying to fuck up your root chakra, mental energies, spending mindless of time scrolling instead of doing what you need to do. <laughs> Manipulate your chakras, root chakra, all the way up to crown chakra. Dude, this is the age of the Aquarius, and nigga, I'm ready to expose this shit, man. Fuck these Illuminati niggas, man. They can suck my dick. <laughs> They can come for me, bro. These niggas can even try to come for me, but what are they going to do? They know how I'm built. Like, nigga, I'm ready for them nuggets. If they try knocking on my door, bro, they know how I'm built, and they know I ain't got no fear, nigga. I am not vibrating on my root chakra. Fuck you mean, man. But, bro, it gets so motherfucking deep. And this, and this shit, is like, like, I'm not pushing none of my beliefs on people, but... I'm talking to you like I would have a conversation with you. And, dog, like, this shit, like, chakras and all that shit, it's real, bro. But if y'all want a video of me explaining that shit, just holla at me. It's very <laughs> Just real. DM me. Speaking of Jay-Z, there is a rather sizable rumor that Jay-Z and Beyonce are members of the Illuminati themselves. Hmm. They join a list of celebrities that includes Prince, Katy Perry, Kanye hey. West, Everybody. Lady Gaga, Michael Jackson, and my fellow Canadian, Drake. <laughs> running through the 666 six, six with my woes. Yes, <laughs> I am a fan. <laughs> That's the whole thing, bro. You, This is what they're going to do to y'all niggas. They're going to make it seem like a motherfucking joke. They're going to make it seem like it's not real. That's that's the That's what they got to do. So y'all niggas are just going to be like, ha, 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 ha. you niggas don't even know the Illuminati is are just, the niggas are there are just puppets, bro. Most of those niggas that are here on earth, bro, they not even the top niggas that are actually like running us, bro. <laughs> the niggas that are running us are from different planets, bro. And niggas think it's a joke. <laughs> bro, just wait till I drop.
more now. Though there is no definitive proof that any of these celebrities are part of the Illuminati, I'm gonna make let's videos. explore this. There's, there's so much proof, bro. I'm a, let me shut up. Theory further, beginning with Beyonce and Jay Z, experts on the Illuminati have pointed to Beyonce's 2013 Super Bowl performance as proof of her devil worshiping, mm -hmm. and have even credited her alter ego Sasha Fierce as being a demonic entity. In addition, Jay-Z has been accused of placing secret symbols in his music videos, such as goat imagery and devil horns. The logo for his own music label. Dog, like I already said, bro. It's all symbolism to get into your subconscious, bro. Because the people that are running this world understand the importance of symbolism. And what they do to your subconscious and how they'll program you without you even knowing it bro and if y'all niggas don't understand that shit man hey it's good that y'all watching this video because y'all finna learn well rockefeller records is a pyramid niggas which like is one of the most well known like boy. symbols some would say jay-z is one of many celebrities who deliberately Jay play with or use illuminati symbols in their career perhaps to mess with their audiences Rihanna is another example of a musician who does this. She, she frequently she uses such her. images I mean, in her music videos, and even used a fake newspaper in her video for SNM, which held a headline declaring her as Princess of the Yeah, Olympia. yeah, yeah, there's a music video that says that shit, bro. I saw that music video, bro. We can react to that shit. Prince has been tied to the group as well. After his death in 2016, some accused the Illuminati of killing him. One gossip website wrote, The Illuminati talk won't stop coming, and what doesn't help is that Prince himself seems to have been genuinely convinced that the organization existed. The hmm. same goes with Michael Jackson. Oh, Even Michael Jackson, what he did to himself, the way he did himself, Michael Jackson, bro. Like, when I look at that nigga, I look at his soul, bro. And damn. I know that nigga probably reincarnated his motherfucking aunt or something. Because the way that motherfucking nigga, god damn, that nigga, whew, whew. Man, I don't even want to get into that, bro. No, I personally am not a fan. It is said that the Illuminati murdered him to obtain the rights to his extensive <laughs> music catalog. His death even coincides with the summer solstice, which is said to be an ideal time for the Illuminati to make sacrifices. And finally, Lady Gaga has yeah, also Lady been Gaga's accused. Anonymous Canadian blogger, Vigilante Citizen, analyzed several of her videos, including Paparazzi, Bad Romance, and Alejandro, and concluded that all videos featured various iconography tied to the Illuminati, coming to the conclusion that Lady Gaga was undeniably a puppet for the all of them are. Study music production online with Berkeley's renowned faculty. Since Deep 2002, down. Berkeley Online has delivered. Let's get serious for a moment. One thing I noticed in my research for this script was that there's a large number of black celebrities who have been accused of being Illuminati members. Now, this is just my personal opinion, but I can't help but feel that there is a strong undercurrent of institutional racism behind these accusations no 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 all of these niggas are in the fucking illuminati bro any nigga that's literally an a-list celebrity bro is a part of that shit or has been opposed to that shit because there's literally no way that you could touch that fame without being in that shit and i'm dead serious bro all the niggas you see polo g little tj all them niggas bro like if y'all niggas think this shit is a conspiracy there's literally no way you could be at a height of famous, like a straight fame, everybody knows you, and you haven't been approached or seen or aren't a part of it. Like, I don't know, maybe some, but it's very unlikely because once you have like a power in this world there and you're actually speaking positively, like positive shit, bro, they going to they gonna get your ass, man. They gonna try to get your ass. MK Ultra, your ass, my nigga. That's tough. That's crazy. MK I think Ultra, you're right. your ass. There absolutely is. Rob Brotherton, a professor mm. at Barnard College, points out that black people in the U.S. are often targets for people believing in the Illuminati. 
This stems from black Americans being victims of real life government conspiracy theories, which have historically targeted black people, such as the FBI infiltration of the civil rights movement in the 50s and 60s. And according to Mark A. Fenster, law professor and author of Conspiracy Theories, Secrecy and Power in American Culture, to the public, celebrities seem to live in a different universe than us. They have secret lives and secret access that seems reptilian. We notice how bizarre their lives seem to be and how powerful they seem to be. I see how they said reptilian. <laughs> I'm getting on these niggas' asses, bro. Who I'm getting on these niggas' asses. Perhaps this ties into institutionalized racism again. Conspiracies about these celebrities might suggest that the only way black artists and creatives could rise to positions of Dude, don't say it, bro, but like, nigga, don't say it like that, bro. There's a reason why they're targeting all these black people, bro. They understand the power in our skin. And that's some more deep shit. Wait, hold up. I don't know, is someone calling me, man? Hold on. Hold on. Shit. <laughs> Hey, nobody was calling me. That's my bad. That's my bad. Anyways. Anyways, bro. That's my bad. I had to go look at something right quick, but they understand the power in our skin, bro. But it's not just black people. It's all of them. <laughs> it's all of them, bro. It's all of them. It's all of them. It's all of them, bro. It's every single. I don't know. Like, like the thing is, like, if you're at that level of fame, I don't know, bro. I don't know, bro. I don't know. I just don't know how you... I don't know, nigga. I don't know. I don't know how you're going to avoid it. The power would be through a secret society. Anyway, the idea of the Illuminati is just a modern version of a time-old American phenomenon of questioning those who are in a position of power. The onus very often... Thing is, bro, just use your common sense, my nigga. Use your common sense. If you really just just go on the internet, do your own motherfucking research, even read books and try to see how these books coincide, like see how the world was present, and I mean not present, past, and see if they all coincide and just, you're gonna find a lot of shit that doesn't add up and that makes sense. And for a person that has common sense, you'll know. You'll know. ...and falls onto celebrities because they're representative of a unique type of power that may be difficult to fully understand. The power of celebrities is the power over the people. It's the power of the people because they know how most people are monkey see, monkey do ass niggas, bro. Understand. Unfortunately, it's impossible to prove whether anyone is really involved with the Illuminati, because if it were real, it would be a heavily guarded secret. As mm. for me, I'm not sure what mm -mm 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 -mm. I. Mm -mm -mm. Like I said, it's esoteric. It's esoterically universally one of the rules that we must see the truth, bro. That's the whole point why they make their symbolism so obvious, because we have to see the truth. They have to show it to us subliminally, bro. So they don't, the people in power won't ha get as much karma from. And they have to tell us the truth because of what I just said. But, but if I were to guess, I'd say the Kardashians are involved somehow. I agree. I know, right? It's, it's like they all look the same, but, but different. different. Anyway, thank you for watching. And I'd like to announce that you could also follow me on Instagram. Stacy made me I get did it last not. week. And my handle is at Dagula Doom. <laughs> <laughs> Technology is crazy, like the Illuminati. Anyway, goodbye. For now. Yeah, that shit over. Anyways, y'all, that's the end of my reaction. As y'all can see, I know a lot about this shit. And I'm I started this YouTube channel literally to expose this shit to get y'all niggas to really see the truth and really see the bullshit that's going on on this planet. I'm happy that y'all were here to experience this video with me for the first time, like I experienced it for the first time. Wow, y'all like, comment, and subscribe. We ready to really run it up. And if y'all got any questions, comment that shit. 
hit my DMs, bro. I love to talk, help enlighten people, just wake everybody up, feel me? But that's gang shit, that's all for me. Now you know TV, gang. Oh my god, bro. Oh, hell no, man. What the fuck, man? Get your ass on, man.